Hi, you welcome to the Daskalos TV, your comprehensive Bible teaching and live lessons channel on YouTube. I'm your friend, Pastor John Kennedy. I welcome you to this edition of our teaching. And if you are new to this channel, then I entreat you and admonish you to subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification. The notification is that bell sign that you see there. Press it and then click all videos. It means anytime we post any video, you will be notified so that you don't miss out on any of our teachings. Give us a thumb up, which is a like on YouTube, and then also share our videos if you derive any value or blessing from them. And then also leave a comment for us. But please subscribe and let us grow the family. And so you welcome once again to our channel. This is Didaskalos TV. Didaskalos is simply the Greek word for the teacher, the fivefold ministry office of the teacher. The Greek word is the didaskalos. So that is all the didaskalos mean. It is not any frightening thing. It is just a teacher's TV or teacher's channel, Bible teacher. That's all. And so we are looking at the rewards of righteousness, part one. I'm dividing it into two because I'm going to show you six biblical rewards for being righteous. There are many people who think there is no reward or blessing or benefit for being righteous because sin offers many a temporary pleasure, which is for a short season. They believe that it is better and sin is more enjoyable and pleasurable. But I came to announce to you sin is archaic, it's outmoded. If you are still living in sin, and you are outmoded and archaic. Righteousness have blessings that are of eternal value and i'm going to show you in this video and then the next one so i'm going to show you in this part one three rewards of righteousness and then in the part two i'll show you the remaining three rewards or blessings or benefits of righteousness and before we look at the first three let's look at the scripture in psalm 58 verse 10 and 11 psalm number 58 the verse 10 and 11. The Bible says, The righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked. Verse 11 is a key verse. So that a man shall say, Verily, there is a reward for the righteous. Verily, he is a God that judgeth in the earth. The first part of verse 11 says, so that a man shall say, verily, there is a reward for the righteous. There is a reward for righteousness. You don't become righteous in vain. There is a reward. And interestingly, the reward of righteousness is of eternal value. It has eternal value or it is eternal in nature. And so let's look at the rewards. Reward number one, we are looking at for righteousness or the blessing or the benefit of righteousness. Number one, let's look at Proverbs chapter 14, the verse 34. Proverbs chapter 14, the verse 34. Proverbs chapter 14, the verse 34. So let me check it up. Proverbs chapter 14, the verse 34 said, Righteousness exalted a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. So the first reward of righteousness is exaltation. Righteousness will exalt you. Righteousness will promote you. Righteousness will bring elevation to your life spiritually, materially, financially, socially, physically. Righteousness will lift you up. When the Bible says promotion does not come from the east nor the west nor from the south, it means promotion comes from God. And what is the basis on which God promotes? Righteousness. So righteousness exalts not only an individual. Righteousness can exalt a family. Righteousness can exalt a whole community. Righteousness can exalt a whole nation. When we have righteous leaders and they do righteousness, the nation will be exalted. But the opposite is that sin is a reproach. It brings shame and disgrace to any group of people. So the first reward for righteousness is exaltation, promotion, elevation, increase. 
So righteousness is not in vain. Ascribe to attain unto righteousness. Number two reward or benefit for righteousness is that righteousness shall make you enjoy wellness. Let's look at Isaiah chapter 3, the verse 10. Isaiah chapter 3, the verse 10. And look at the word of the Lord Jehovah himself. Isaiah chapter 3, the verse number 10. The Bible says, Say ye to the righteous, it shall be well with him, for they shall eat the fruit of their doing. So this is the Lord Jehovah himself speaking to the prophet Isaiah. He says, say ye to the righteous that it shall be well with him. So the second reward or blessing or benefit of righteousness is that righteousness will make it to be well with you. It shall be well with you in your going out. It shall be well with you in your coming in. It doesn't matter what men think of you. It shall be well with you. It doesn't matter what men do to you. It shall be well with you. It doesn't matter what they don't do for you. It shall be well with you. Walk in righteousness. Do you know that when Jesus Christ came on this earth, he didn't have the name of Jesus to use? He didn't have the blood of Jesus to use. He only had the word of God and his righteousness. The righteousness was his girdle and his garment that he wore. So righteousness, he says, say to the righteous, it shall be well with you. I came to reiterate the word of God and the voice of the prophet that there is reward to righteousness and if you walk in righteousness it shall be well with you it doesn't matter the plot it doesn't matter the traps it doesn't matter the schemes of the wicked world it shall be well with you the thing the devil fears most is your righteousness that is why he wants you to live in sin so that you will fall out of your right standing with god and then it shall not be well with you if you look at the next verse he said woe to the wicked it shall be ill with him for the reward of his hand shall be given him so the opposite of it shall be well with you is it shall be ill so the wicked it shall be ill with them the righteous it shall be well with us and then the second part says for they shall eat the fruit of their doings the fruit of your righteousness you will eat the fruit of your righteousness your righteousness will not be in vain living righteous life every day denying yourself the pleasures of sin denying yourself the comforts of this world that allure many people into wickedness and deceitfulness you have denied yourself you will not go unrewarded the law says to say to you it shall be well with you and you will eat the fruit of your doing may it be well with you a child of God continue to uphold the virtues of righteousness continue to live a right of uprightness continue to live the life of righteousness and it shall be well with you when the whole world is sinking you will be elevated and you will be promoted the last one for this part part one is Isaiah chapter 32 the verse 17 and 18 Isaiah chapter 32 Let's look at what is in Isaiah chapter 32, the verse 17. It says, And the work of righteousness shall be peace, number one, and the effect of righteousness, quietness and assurance forever. The work of righteousness, or if you like, the reward or the blessing or the benefit of righteousness shall be what? Peace, number one. So another blessing or reward of righteousness is peace. And they said, and the effect of righteousness shall be quietness or tranquility and then assurance forever. Your heart will not be moved. Your heart will not be shaken in uncertain times because you will dwell in peace. Look at verse 8. He said, and my people shall dwell in a peaceable habitation in assured dwellings and in quiet resting places. Mm. He said, the work of righteousness shall be peace. 
the effect of righteousness, quietness and assurance. Not today, not tomorrow, but forever. Verse 18. And my people as a result of righteousness shall dwell in a peaceable habitation and in sure dwellings and in quiet resting places. May the Lord give you peace in your life and all around you. May the Lord give you quietness in your life. There is too much noise in our world today. There is too much turbulence in our world today. May the Lord give you quietness in your spirit, quietness in your soul, quietness in your body, quietness in your place of work, quietness in your dwelling place, quietness in and around your life. The Lord give you assurance forever that eternal life is guaranteed for you and nothing can take you out of the hand of the Lord. The Lord keep you, the Lord preserve you. He said, and my people shall dwell in peaceable habitation. May you and your family dwell in peaceable habitations and dwell in a short dwelling places and quiet resting places. May your dwelling place be quiet and serene. May the turbulence and the noise that is in the world, may it not come near you. May the troublous times that the whole world is going through economically, spiritually, may it not come near your dwelling. May your children dwell in peaceable places. May your spouse dwell in your peaceable places. May your your brethren and then your siblings dwell in peaceable habitation. May everything that pertains to you, may even your beasts, your animals, dwell in peaceable habitation. The Lord keep you. The Lord preserve you. The Lord grant you grace and may you continue to increase and walk in righteousness. The Lord sustain you and may all these rewards of righteousness come upon you and overtake you. Stay blessed. I pray for you in the name of Jesus that this week your life will be blessed as you walk in righteousness. You will be exalted and then you will dwell in peaceable habitation. It shall be well with you and you will eat the fruit of your doing. The Lord bless you and keep you. Remember, I'm your friend, Pastor John Kennedy. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification, like our videos, share the videos, and above all, leave a comment, a question, a contribution, and then let us begin the conversation. Stay blessed as I come your way next time in part two, and I'm going to show you how righteousness empowers our prayer, how righteousness makes us fruitful, fruitful, and how righteousness can deliver you from death most importantly. So remember to subscribe and stay tuned for part two. God bless you. Till I come your way next time, I remain your friend, Pastor John Kennedy Akutia. Stay blessed. Shalom. Peace.